It's Sandra from Conversion Minded, and today I'm going to show you the right way to boost your posts so that you can get the traffic to them that you're looking for. Now, if you are boosting your posts already and you're not seeing the traffic, it's likely because you're using the little blue button beneath your post on the bottom right of your post that says boost post. It seems logical you would choose that. But the problem with that is that you don't have the targeting that you need. You can't get really focused in defining the audience and the interests of your audience and maybe pages that they like or websites that they visit. And so you're likely showing your post to so many more people who may not be interested in your topic. So what I'm going to show you is a workaround, a different way to boost your post, the equivalent of boosting your post using the ads manager and this way you're going to be able to get that targeting you're going to be able to get laser focused and really reach your audience and then you're going to see that increase in engagements and comments and traffic that you're looking for so let me show you how to do that right now First, I'm over on my dashboard here, and this is the little blue boost post button that I was talking about. So most people go right here and they want to click on that because it seems logical and it seems like, you know, it's relatively quick. You can really get your ad going quickly. But as I said, there's a problem with that, and the problem is that you're reaching people who may not be interested in your topic. So instead of doing that, what you want to do is you want to go over to the Ads Manager, and that is super simple to do. You can access it right over here, Manage Ads, and you can set that up. But you want to do it through your Ads Manager, and the first thing that I would do is I would go over here and I would look at Audience Insights. This is a really powerful tool that's going to allow you to kind of get more insight on your audience. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to say everyone on Facebook as your audience to start. And then over here on the left are some filters that you can run and you can start to see the demographics of your of, of people on Facebook. This is overall people on Facebook. So we can start to get specific. We can choose a region. We can choose age ranges. So for instance, I'm going to say 25 to 45. I'll say all men and women, and you can see how these bars are changing over here. So it's showing me general stats of the demographics of, of people on Facebook. But if I go into interest, this is where it gets really, really cool. If you type in, if you just type in a general interest in here, in other words, if you just select from one of these pre categories from Facebook, you're not going to get as specific as you want. So what I would do is if you probably likely already know a popular page in your niche on Facebook. So I would type them in. So in my case, it would be Amy Porterfield. And you can see that. So I'm, I'm specifying that as an interest. Now you'll see a little bit of, you know, shifts happening in the bar graphs over here. But what is really helpful from this point on is to look at the pages that this demographic is likely to like. So you can start to see who I might want to include in my targeting for Facebook ads. So you can also, so I can see um, smart, Smarter Networker, Meet Edgar, Melanie Duncan, Melissa Griffith, Smart Passive Income, all of these are um, different interests that I can use when I'm starting to create my ads. And this is going to show you a much more relevant, show your boosted ad to a much more relevant audience. If you come down there also, you'll also see more in here. So you can start to compile an audience, type, you know, type of audience around interests and pages that people are liking. So if you collect all of this, maybe use a spreadsheet for it. You know, I'm really big on spreadsheets. Um, then what you can do is when you're ready to create your ad, you can go into the ads manager. You're going to create a new ad. Okay. 
Okay, you can choose your objective right here. We're going to say engagement. You can give it whatever name you like. And we're just going to say continue. And then you're going to see these other filters and specifications we can enter here. So we don't really need the custom audience. We're going to, you know, you can pick your region here, pick your age range. And in here is where you would want to start getting your detailed targeting. So from the spreadsheet that you added, that you created, you can start typing in those pages that, are, that would be your audience. And you can start to see the reach that you would have over here. I like to go for 100,000 or more in terms of potential reach. But you can keep adding, I'll say smart passive income. Does that come up? Yeah, there you go. Okay, so you can just keep populating it with your with the pages that you noted from your spreadsheet, from the audience insights, and then you can come down here and you can edit your placement. I usually go with Facebook feed only. Uh, yours might be auto-populated with these other ones. I usually don't go for that. You can check whether you want it to be in the Instagram feed as well. Um, and I also down here, you can set your daily budget. So you can do this for the same way that you would do that blue boosted post. You can set a daily budget. You can set a lifetime budget if you want to. Just say, I want to cap this budget. I want to cap this ad out at $30 or something like that. You can set a start and an end date and you are pretty good to go. And from here, what you would, after that, if you're continuing, then you would be able to select your post. So right here, you can select your post, whichever one it is that you want to go ahead and run and you will be good from there. And then you can just let it go and you can confirm it. Facebook's gonna review it and you'll see back on your dashboard when it's active and running. So that is the way that you want to be, you know, getting your post, getting traffic to your post. Don't use the blue post button. Uh, do it this way. Definitely use the ads manager. You can see how granular we're getting with the targeting and that's just the way that you're going to get the results that you're looking for. I hope this helped you. If you need any more tips, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely create more videos around it. See you next time.